50. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Christchurch. We've just finished our social session. Social session is where everyone in Williams Corporation at four o'clock on a Tuesday, we stop for one hour from four o'clock to five o'clock. And it's a time where we can all come together and we spend time together. It's where the different departments can mingle and it's where the people in Williams Corporation can really meet personally and understand the other people they work with on a personal level. It's a super fun time. Now, as always, we have some questions from the marketing department and I'm going to get straight into them and answer them for you, the watcher. So the first question is, why do you feature arches at the entrance of your houses? Wow, that's a very good question. So in my opinion, a house from a what you want to emphasize, the doorway, the entrance is a very, very important part of the home. Now, at Williams Corporation, a key part of our culture is building low maintenance homes, building homes where you, the customer, can live in it and or own it as an investment property and not have problems with that, whether that be any leaking or excess maintenance, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And what, a, um, what, arch, <laughs> what the pergolas do, that's what I call them, pergolas, so you say arch. Uh, what the pergolas do, they provide a low maintenance way for us to really identify that front door so when you're standing it you can see the front door clearly but it's not providing penetrations into the cladding it's not providing expensive features for you to maintain it's a very it's a very low maintenance way to make your home look better and now it's become a Williams Corporation feature. So our pergolas, you drive down the street and you see those pergolas and you know that's a Williams Corporation house. So we're stuck with it. <laughs> but I think they're so cool. All of my investment properties have the pergolas and I think they're a fantastic feature for the home. Next question. Next question. What is your house price predictions for November 2023? I did a video about this over the weekend. So essentially, as of today, the average house price in New Zealand, according to REINZ, is approximately $810,000. And it's actually a few percent higher than 12 months ago. So 12 months ago, the average house price in New Zealand was approximately $800,000. It might have been $790,000. I'm doing this from memory. And what happened during that time, we had the price go up 15% and down 15%, which is massive. That has never happened before in the history of the New Zealand property market. Now, to put this in perspective, during the GFC, house prices dropped 8%, then recovered 8% over the course of 12 months, and then over the following years, lifted another 16%. So the drop we've seen in the last sort of seven months has been twice as much as the drop during the GFC, which was obviously a huge financial event. Now, what we have seen this month, which is super interesting, we've seen prices start to go up, which in my opinion means we've hit the bottom of the market and we're going to see house prices rise. But the important thing to note is 12 months ago, if you had purchased a house, you would still be up a couple of percent. So what are my predictions? That's the past. And obviously the past doesn't um, predict the future, but it's important to put that into context while we're having this discussion. So if you look back for the last 42 years, New Zealand property on average has increased 8% every year. And that's for a whole lot of reasons. Essentially, we have strong population growth. We have consistent increase in construction costs. Average people per dwelling are decreasing. And construction deliveries, code of compliances for the past four or five years have actually decreased a little bit per year. So we're not building as many houses as we want. Uh, we've got lots of, we've got less people living in those houses. The price of those houses are going, um, going up to build. And New Zealand continues to be a fantastic place to live on a global stage. 
So what do I think is going to happen for the next 12 months? I believe that in November 2023, New Zealand average house price will have increased approximately 8%, which is pursuant with our 42-year average. So I would guess that we'll be sitting somewhere between 880,000 to 900,000 based on REINZ in this time next year would be my prediction. Now, Obviously, I'm not an economist, uh, but I do have a very tight finger on the pulse of the New Zealand construction industry, and I have a long track record of being very accurate. So that is my prediction. We'll watch this in a year and see how close I was. Next question. Do you think property from buying off the plans... <laughs> That's the same question. <laughs> do you think property from buying off the, your plans will go up 8% in the next year. Well, this is what I believe. But you can never guarantee capital gain. And anyone that promises you guarantee, uh, capital gains is probably lying to you or ignorant. The past doesn't predict the future. But we can look at fundamentals. And the fundamentals that are in place that has caused the previous property inflation and the previous growth is still in place and because those fundamentals are still in place we can look to the future and say well the things that caused this to happen in the past are still there so as we look to the future we can expect to see it acting in a similar way to the past so me personally Matthew Horncastle the person I am still buying investment property, residential property from Williams Corporation. Williams Corporation is still buying land, still committing to developments, um, and we're still very, very positive about the future. Another thing to note is we've just had positive population growth um, and positive immigration for the first time in probably about a year uh, through COVID. It's because New Zealand opened up slower than the rest of the world, we did see a period of negative immigration, which now appears years to be reversed so I think we're going to have a very very positive summer in the property market and we're going to see transactions and prices increase do you see the window closing on townhouses in Christchurch CBD absolutely I've been saying this for a long time um, we were very very lucky to be allowed to build townhouses in Christchurch CBD uh, most CBDs in the world you do not see townhouses unless they're historic townhouses so the reason we could build such well located well priced townhouses in Christchurch CBD was because of the earthquake it freed up land that would have never been available at the price point we paid and at the price we're going to see Christchurch CBD land in the future it'll really only be feasible for commercial and for apartment buildings so if you want a townhouse in Christchurch CBD I recommend buying it now because I cannot see that product being available in the future I see you only being able to buy apartments and that's also a big percentage of my investment portfolio because I believe that and I put my money where my mouth is are earthquakes and bad foundations still a risk when buying in Christchurch on new property, no. Uh, well, not no. You can never say something so absolute. Look, since the Christchurch earthquake, we have had fantastic advancements with how we build homes. I'll actually do a whole presentation on this, and there's, there's a great video which the marketing team will put in the comments or something about how Williams Corporation builds a house. And that's not just unique to us. There's lots of good builders in the market that, use that technology and use these advanced methods to reduce the risk of an earthquake affecting your home. So we have an exceptional build methodology, products, materials we use that keeps Williams Corporation homes performing well. Now, there is still old homes in the market. There's still as is where is homes that had poor earthquake repairs. I would definitely have caution when you're purchasing in Christchurch, especially if you're purchasing a repaired pre-earthquake house, I would make sure you're doing appropriate due diligence. I'd make sure you're getting building reports. Make sure you are understanding what you, the customer, are purchasing. So that ends today's live Q&A session. Thank you very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. 
Uh, make sure you keep leaving your questions in the comments section. I'm going to be on tomorrow and I am going to be answering more questions for you. I want to get through all your questions. I want you to be educated in the property market. As always, I'd love to have you as a customer at Williams Corporation, whether you purchase a house or whether you invest with us. And I just want to do one more note. Tomorrow, God, my phone's froze right as I'm trying to do this for you. Tomorrow we have, tomorrow, we, sorry, tomorrow we're doing some events. So what you need to do is you need to go on Eventbrite, search Williams Corporation, and you'll see there's an event in Wellington, uh, in Auckland and an event in Christchurch. If you're in one of those cities, we would love to see you there. We're doing property investment presentations. It's a fantastic presentation. I'm hosting the one in Christchurch. Stephen Pike's hosting the one in Auckland. If you have time in the evening, you should come down there. We've got food, we've got drink, we've got great speakers, but the networking is fantastic. You need to be there. So find that Eventbrite link. Make sure that you come down. It's worth your time. You will love it. Thank you very much. Enjoy your afternoon. And I